This GibbsCam Tech Tip will show you the different types of simulation that are available to you in GibbsCam. Let's start with OpSim. And as you notice in OpSim, we have the solid model highlighted inside of the transparent stock so that we can see it while it's being cut. You will also see tool movements, but the actual machine simulation will be skipped. When the simulation is complete, you may select Analyze Cut Part, and with confidence you can check for undercuts on your cut part, or remaining material, or remaining material change which shows completed surfaces. In the second type of simulation, we will go to Machine Sim. If you have the machine simulation option and your machine simulation model loaded into GibbsCam, you will select it here from the list of machine simulation models. When you press Rewind and Play, you will not only see the part superimposed inside of the transparent stock, but you will see all of the machine movements and any clashes or gouges if you have clash gouge detection turned on. You may change the settings of clash gouge detection by right clicking the machine sim rendering bar and changing it to beep, stock flash, log to display, or stop animation. In the next type of display, let's look at tool sim. Tool sim is for when you want to get in really tight and show exactly what the tool is doing. If I simply let it run, what you will see is the tool motions will be traced onto the screen. We selected trace all here, but not only that, but for each tool and tool path, you may go backwards and forwards through the tool path using this slider. For the most highest and demanding parts of your system, Legacy CPR is still available for you to go through a very fast simulation of your part as in older versions of Gibbs Cams. We hope that this tech tip helps you with Gibbs Cam and see you soon.